Hey, hello everybody. It became so cold and so uh, dark pretty quickly these days that I got the Chevy Cruze and you can kind of see it's barely five o'clock and it's already super dark. So I actually, I, I stopped by the, the gas station, even though this thing does not need gas, just so I can get some light. <laughs> and I am driving uh, a co-worker's Chevy Cruze that we just picked up, well, I picked up not too long ago from the mechanic, the same mechanic that I use for all my repairs. Uh, and it, it, it needed a lot of work. And now, because one of the things that it needed, it had a check engine light and, well, it is super windy. I don't know how in the world am I gonna film this. I'm gonna need to jump inside pretty quickly. So he fixed the check engine light. It had something to do with like the timing belt or the chain. I don't even know what, it did, what he did with it, but it's not my car, so I don't really care about it. But he asked, or he told me, is like, drive it for a little bit because the check engine light would come on and off intermittently. So he thinks he fixed the problem, but he really didn't. <laughs> so I am doing the, the test drive. So hopefully the, the check engine light so far hasn't come back. And so I think I'll be, I'll be returning it tomorrow for my town car. But the bottom line is I'm driving it, so I'm filming it. And what I can tell you about it. So first of all, what year is this thing? Whoa. Okay, it is a 2016, it is a 2016 model, which, I mean, it's not, it's not the most ugly looking thing. I do kind of like the Chevy design, the kind of split grill and everything, and it's the, the cheapest model. So no fog lights, no weather, no nothing. And, I mean, look, it is the, the most bland piece of driving equipment that I can imagine. So vanilla. Wow, I think it actually started snowing too. So yeah, I mean, look, it's still got the old school antenna in on top. It's got these uh, pretty pretty attractive, I guess, taillights. It's got the, uh, the little dimples here, so that's pretty interesting. Uh, I'm not gonna open the trunk because I don't know what's in there. Obviously, it's a co-worker's car. I mean, I can lift the hood just so you guys can see. And then I'll be jumping inside. So let's see. What did it tell me? Hood open. Yeah, we're going to spend some time inside here. Because I'm actually I'm not too happy being outside. <laughs> super windy. Super nasty. Super dark. So here's the engine. Actually pretty uh, pretty clean. It's got, I think it's got like 105,000 miles. I'm going to post like what kind of engine this thing has. But nothing really fancy. Once again, base model, ticking away the little eco tech. It's actually pretty clean underneath, so you know, not not too bad. Let's see what kind of what are we looking at here? Okay, well you guys can see that. To 2016, it says 1.8 liter. There you go. All right, take a good look. And goodbye very heavy hood too so all right let's jump inside well okay base wheels too so really really basic so looking through here now he had this car since new look at the seats he's a pretty clean guy <laughs> but this this is just these seats I, I remember these seats from the car rental days they they're they're nice they're fine but they pick up everything and it's a really cheap material too so all right well right now it is his car so i'm not judging the fact that we do have a few papers and like a can of something here um yeah i know it's dark oh yeah wow it's it's starting to snow pretty pretty good out there so all right so let's look so first of all really cheap material but this is interesting. This is, <laughs> I've never, I, I've seen this plenty of times before, but I think just GM, like they know that quality means soft touch material. So they know this, so, so at least some of this stuff they're trying to bring up market. So they're putting this fake leather, AKA vinyl stuff here. And on some models, and they do it on a Malibu too. 
or at least they used to when Malibu was sold, which I need to double check whether or not Malibu is even still around. But they're putting like this fake vinyl and some of their stuff, they're putting like the same material that's on the seat. You know, maybe if I turn on all the lighting in here. Yeah, maybe, maybe then you guys will be able to see it a little better. Yeah, but so, so some of the models, they have like this type of material here and I'm like, what the hell? Like, why is this necessary? Like why this is rock hard <laughs> and even this, like wouldn't you want soft touch material up here? But this is hard, this is like wrapped. And then the, the cloth thing looks even weird, even more weird on the models that have it. So don't really know, don't understand, it is soft, but the rest of this is all cheap old plastic. All right, well, look in here. You do have power windows, mirrors. Uh, it does glow with this bluish tint, which I, I guess kind of like. Auto lights, kind of surprising, but I think they're sticking this with everything these days. Uh, the little dimmer switch. Okay, you got your vents. Now, this, this gauge pod reminds me of my Buick LaCrosse for several reasons. So let's see, what if I kill lights? You guys will be able to maybe just see it a little better. There you go. So it does have like a little European vibe, but at the same time, it, it reminds me of my Buick Cross, and primarily it's because of this, this middle display. Now in the Buick Cross, it was colored, but here it is nice and blue and grainy. Now on camera, it comes off blue pretty nicely, but in, but in reality, it's more of like this turquoise color. Uh, you can kind of see 105,000 miles for 2017. What did I say? 2017? Yeah, November of 2016. That would make it 2017. So, obviously, none of these things were reset in quite some time. It's getting 29 miles per gallon. Uh, I, I love this. It's like just you see nothing. Speedometer, fuel used, quite, quite a lot. Timer navigation. Now, this navigation, it's not true navigation. It's through the good old-fashioned OnStar, which probably nobody uses these days. And I think OnStar is being discontinued. So, yeah, but yeah, these do remind me. And the same same little knob here, you have the menu, switch, and then it gives you a few more options. Yeah, the tire pressure monitor, I'm surprised that this thing has it on for the base model. Okay, it's got an oil change. Yeah, so just a few things here. So uh, I love to keep it on the speedometer. Reminds me of my town car. The steering wheel also reminds me of the Buick LaCrosse. Kind of similar setup, same buttons here. But it doesn't have blue i don't think it has bluetooth like we would think it does uh it has one of these voice prompt things but also it doesn't have i don't think it has cruise control look cruise control is an option which apparently this thing doesn't have wow i just realized that that is odd you have auto lights you have this display yet you don't have cruise control oh well Right here, this display, this this is this is some high class stuff over here. I know there are models, this is a base model, there are models with, with a, like a color, more, more powerful display. <laughs> but then this display, I think they didn't know what to do with it. So the radio, obviously, you know, is gonna show up a few things here and there. The, the very grainy stuff here. Yeah, the little tuner. <laughs> but the, the most funny stuff, is this way so first of all i don't understand why the feet and the by level the one where it splits why are these buttons larger than the rest of them no clue but look what happens when you press this button it changes so i don't understand why but also when you turn the fan knob why does this show here and also look how okay do they really need to be like sawing something and also check this out why is this so huge and grainy? <laughs> Why do they even have it here? I don't get it. Like they do have, you know, regular knobs and switches and the trunk button is, is right here for some reason. But, oh, I think it's because it's for symmetry. So that makes sense. But anyway, yeah, the interior is really cheap. Um, it does have a CD in there, but then also look, I thought we were past buttons that, that self-destruct with your fingers, but I guess not. I guess the manufacturer still thinks that painting plastic buttons is the best way to go. You do have a pause button for when it's uh, when the radio is playing. And when there's nothing, you have a giant date. So you can see what time and date I'm filming. 
Moving down here, you have a little cubby here, and this this guy who was driving it at work, he mu he must have been a Marine in the past. So look at this. A very cool cigar cutter. Really nice and solid and heavy. I mean, I'm not a Marine, but and I don't even smoke, but man, this thing is nice and solid. So very good. So I, I think he, he served. So kudos for that. Here you do have the six-speed transmission with the plus and the minus. You do have the traction control, which deactivates right there so once again very weird placement why did they have to put these buttons like the way they did i don't know here you do have some general cup holders you have the seats not a lot of room in the back really not especially with the seats all the way back but very basic looking stuff yep now we're gonna drive it and then we're gonna give it vitali score no no we're not we're not giving any scores uh, all right, seat belt. Click. Oh, I guess it stopped snowing. And I know, I know, this video is gonna come out pretty crappy simply because. Oh look, Stanley steamer. Uh, because of the the lighting, but you can kind of see it. You know, when I started filming, it was barely. You know, I don't even think it was five o'clock. So, um, yeah, it's uh. it's gonna come out dark so hopefully the samsung note 20 ultra will overcompensate for it and we don't have a whole lot to drive but so the way i could explain it is this is the most basic transportation i know they had smaller vehicles when this when these things were new but man you know like i i mean i drove it to the I don't know, maybe 15, 20 minutes to get to this dealership. And by the way, this is our gas prices as of, so it's, uh, here, I can, yeah. 353 for the unleaded, 428 for the premium plus, diesel is 399. Yeah, so anyway, so I drove it, it drives fine. I, it doesn't drive luxury, it does not drive like an econo box. It drives super duper average. There's really nothing inspiring acceleration is it's it's slow like i'm i'm halfway flooring it yeah but really nothing um it does have a tiny little armrest which i forgot to mention it's really tiny the storage is barely even there but uh, it does what it does and yeah i mean for <laughs> for a company vehicle though you know just to give an employee something and like i said you know he had it since new the company gave it to him obviously a long long time ago but yeah he drives it doesn't really have any issues with it the no complaints other than when the check engine light went on which which was fixed and it needed like new brakes uh, new new pads new rotors uh the timing belt uh, got changed because once again everything was i guess well the brakes probably weren't original but need a transmission flush coolant flush all that all that basic stuff that you know a company vehicle usually doesn't get we got it all sorted out and i'm driving it no no check engine light so hopefully tomorrow morning when i bring it back and pick up my car and i will have an update for you guys as far as what my gas tank is doing where i try to refuel it and it clicks off too so yeah there you go handling is fine <laughs> everything is fine yeah, but but if, when you put it all together i mean there's the most uninspiring vehicle ever and why do people buy these things oh i guess they're not buying new ones anymore but why were they in existence and i know you can you could get a few extra goodies on these cruises when they were cruising around but yeah like this display is just odd uh i don't know if they had a different display here in the middle it's okay and I know the idea was that this was like the middle range. You would get the Impala if you wanted to get fans here, but yeah, yeah. So yeah, there you go. There's the Chevy Cruze. I don't know when I'm gonna have a chance to drive another one, but if I don't drive another one ever again, I think I'm gonna be just fine. And I'll keep you guys posted. See everybody.